Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to make some uh, ropes for the so-called uh, rope swing drills. So uh, what I have here is a, a spool of um, rope. Um, and then the rope I'm using is a three quarter inch double braid nylon rope. Uh, this gives a reasonable weight so you can easily swing it so it's not too heavy it's not too light so i like uh, this one now what i'll basically do is i will cut them uh, so that uh, i can make um, seven foot uh, ropes so uh, the length i use is uh, seven uh, feet or 2.1 meters um, when it's folded it will be close to your five iron or six iron length and um, uh, for uh, uh, junior players you can always choke up the rope so uh, i think that the best is to uh, uh, make a seven foot uh, rope and then if necessary you can always uh, choke up uh, to make it a bit shorter uh, but anyways so on this table i uh, marked uh, the seven foot uh, point so i can uh, i can mark the uh, the seven foot uh, point here and then uh, usually what I do is uh, I'll uh, put uh, an electric tape at the end here so that uh, keep the fibers uh, fibers tightly together so uh, they don't get loose and also um, uh, the other side as well You can use any uh, type of uh, tape uh, for this purpose, but uh, I just use uh, electric tape because it is easy to handle. And then I will cut the rope with this um, uh, hot knife. And um, this is uh, good for uh, nylon uh, ropes. And then while uh, cutting, uh, it will actually uh, uh, melt the surface so all the fibers will uh, stick together. So you can easily uh, cut the rope. And then do not pull uh, this too hard. Then uh, the, the fibers will uh, be pulled out. So, uh, so one rope is done here. And then we can do the same thing. So again, uh, run the rope here. And then find the seven foot uh, point and mark it and apply uh, electric tape on both sides of this uh, seven foot point then hold it and then cut cut it uh, with the hot knife. The fume is pretty bad, so uh, you have to hold your breath. Okay. So again, I made another one here. Now when it is folded, uh, it will be uh, close to your uh, five iron or six iron length. And uh, so with this length, uh, it's easy to uh, swing. Not too easy, but to, uh, not too difficult. So you will be able to use it uh, in the uh, rope swing drill. And I've used uh, two companies so far. Um, one is a uh, nut and rope. And another one is a blue ox rope and this rope is actually from a blue ox so what i'll do is uh, in the description i will include the links to uh, the companies and the particular uh, uh, model that i use so you don't have to use the same thing but uh, you know uh, in in my perspective uh, this is the best uh, so uh, that's why i'm using a three quarter inch double braid nylon rope and in the next episode, uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, specifically talk about the rope swing. Uh, it can be a really useful uh, drill 
Um, so uh, I'll try to, uh, uh, you know, attract your attention to uh, some of the key aspects of the rope swing. What you need to achieve uh, with the rope swing, you know, why we're doing uh, the rope swing. So uh, I'll see you uh, in the next episode. Thank you.